What's up everybody? I know it's been a while since I made some videos. Been super busy in the real estate world. Um, today we're going to be working on the blue car. We're going to start the first project. So the first project, uh, the window regulators in the back are broken. So I haven't been able to wash the car. So I'm going to knock out the window regulators. That way we get the windows all the way up. Um, and we can do our first wash and talk with this car before we tear into the engine bay. So um, pretty simple process. I know there's a ton of videos online about it, but show you guys my take on it, um, see if we find any tips or tricks, um, and just kind of document the build. So let's get started. All right, so this process isn't too complicated. Um, some of the symptoms that you'll see if you need a new regulator is you'll he hear the motor working and you'll hear some crunching or the window won't go up and down. So um, that's usually the um, sign that the re regulator is gone. So really you're not gonna need too many tools. You'll probably need a, a trim pry tool um, you're going to need a Phillip and a flathead screwdriver, a T20 and a T15 bit, um, and that's pretty much it. And then obviously you're going to need the new regulator. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove this trim. Obviously this trim has been wrapped with some aftermarket wrap, so um, it should be pretty easy to remove since it's already been removed before. You probably want to be a little bit more gentle than I was. And then once you get that removed, you're going to want to remove the cover of this handle reveal the last the, the screws underneath so there's three screws once you get these two trim pieces off there's one here one here and one here um, and those are t15s so once you have those three screws removed you can start prying out the uh, door card and then once you have the um, panel removed, there's two wires inside. One goes to the speaker, and then one goes to the windows. So once you have those two wires disconnected, uh, remove them from the, the wire guides, and um, you can just let this hang. There's plenty of slack, so I'm not too worried about it. And so next we're gonna take off this foam. So once you uh, remove this, it'll reveal this foam block here, which you're gonna wanna get out of the way to make some room to get the regulator out. It's just two Phillips screws. screws. So I went ahead and put tape on both sides to kinda hold the window up. I made sure it's rolled up all the way. And then I can remove these uh, 10 millimeter bolts that hold the regulator in. So I don't know if you could see it, but there's this green plastic piece that actually holds the window to the regulator. Um, you'll use a flathead screwdriver to pop it out. And then once you do that, you can tape the window all the way up to the top. So you can see this regulator's torched. Um, but when you're removing the, the glass from the, the regulator, it's this plastic piece is in, in a hole. And so you basically just pull this back and the window will be released and then the reverse uh, to install. So we'll get this new one in and then we'll do the other side. So you can see on the new one, the string is nice and taut versus the other one, um, it was completely um, broken. So now we're going to put the regulator motor onto this one and put it back in. So to remove the regulator motor, it's T20 uh, screws, three, three T20 screws on here. So pull these three off and then bolt it directly back onto the, uh, the new one. So you'll thread it back in and then once it's in place, you'll want to lower the window and clip it in and plug the, uh, the connector back in. All right, so now that this is all tightened down, reconnected to the window and the connector, we're gonna put this foam block back in. So now you can put this mat back on. Make sure you run your wire through here tuck this through and then we can put our door panel back on so make sure you reconnect your speaker and your window switch poke the lock back through put your three screws back in put your trim piece done so we'll test it out now so to program it all you're gonna do is hold this roll the window all the way down 
Hold it for 10 seconds and then roll it all the way up and hold for 10 seconds. And that's it. So I'm gonna do the other side and then we can wash this car. So, so I'm gonna get the other side done so that I can roll that window up and then I'm gonna pull this outside and wash it. So stay tuned for the first wash and talk with this. Have a lot of updates on uh, the real estate market and real estate in general, uh, Bitcoin and all that good stuff. And then uh, more to do with the plan for the F10 and this car uh, because there might be a big change coming to the channel. So thanks for being patient with me. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, those of you that are watching this video, um, really appreciate you guys subscribing and sticking with me through all the ups and downs of the channel. So uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the video so that way I can uh, get the views back up and uh, get this channel going. So thanks for watching. See you next time.